Tequila. We rolling. My first drink of the day. Oh man, gotta get it. Your in. first drink of the day? You playing catch up. Yeah. Nah, but you already so you don't drink before you hit the stage. Um, not on this tour. Okay. Yeah, so not more like singing on this album. I don't like to be all like horse. Okay. Oh, that makes total sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So how do you get in your zone before you hit the stage? Do some breathing exercises, say a quick prayer, try to just center myself. Absolutely. All right. Well, first of all, welcome back to Backwoods Backstage. You already know we rolling here at Dreamville 2024. We sitting down with artist Bass. Give it up for him, y'all. Yes. And you hit the stage today yeah. at Dreamville. So how you feeling? I feel great. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to be back. Yeah. This what year for what year for you is this for Dreamville? I'm here every year. All the years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah, the first artist. Period. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So it's like second you, nature. You, we home. You, did you get? Do you get hype now, or is like it's like regular? Like it's like home kind. Nah, when you you know when you're on stage, there's nothing like that adrenaline. Uh-huh. You know, right now you're just you're probably getting uh back to back seven a.m. nights energy from me. Okay. We was outside. No, nah, for sure. Oh, y'all was turning uh, up. You yeah. in the city. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I did. I, I made the rounds. But, you know, no, nah, yeah. for sure. Once you touch that stage and you feel that energy from that crowd, there's nothing like it. Gotcha. I, I think we, uh, we talk a lot, talk to a lot of Dreamville artists. Do you think, like, you set the, like, the standard for, like, because everybody say, like, it's so chill. Like, everybody make, you know what I mean? You feel welcomed and it's no competition. It's no like you know egos. It's like everybody's so cool around like the whole lineup. Yeah, I agree. I think you know that's that's kind of our energy as a unit. Yeah, and it's good to see that like people come and you know they foster that energy. Everyone's accessible back here. You can chop it up with whoever you want. Mm-hmm. You know, take some pictures, have a drink, whatever the case may be. Everyone's you know real easy going. Yeah. For sure. Who were you excited to see, like, or even just run into on on a personal backstage or here at the festival? Like, maybe somebody that you ain't yeah. linked with in a minute. Definitely Rema. Okay. We, we had spoke on the phone before, but I hadn't met him in person. Um, I'm a big fan of his, so I'm excited to see him perform. I think he's a, you know, global icon, young African superstar. Came all the way out here from Nigeria. Yeah. To to play this festival, so you know, I'm, I'm grateful. And I'm excited to see him. Who else on the label like you you proud of like not you know not to like just think of one but like you know like it's good to see them on stage and just to see their stage presence um everybody man yeah. i think everyone is you know i know these guys so well i see like i see who they are uh-huh. in their show you know like i know earth gang like yeah. those are my guys you know what i mean so when i see them performing together and rocking a crowd it's like now that's they just who they are it to them like yeah I like know that's, what they that's who they are. are you know yeah. what i mean like you know you get to see someone uh i think when you go on stage you really get to see someone's character and you know their personality shine through because um, all y'all so just like so chill like yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah but then yeah. when y'all hit the stage it's like it turn on it what yeah. The hell? yeah 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 <laughs> it's that adrenaline you know <laughs> yeah. for sure yeah uh-huh. who do you feel like pushes you to like push yourself it's really I mean, there's a few uh, collaborators I work with. I think a lot of the producers in our camp, um, you know, even starting with Cole on a, on a production level, you know, he'll always try to push me out of my comfort zone, whether it's like, yo, try singing this or, you know, try not writing this or, you know what I mean, or try taking it in this tone, like certain things like that, that I think anyone you work with, you want them to push you out of your comfort zone. Because yeah. then you get to keep that ability. You get to go to another session, and you kind of keep that superpower that they gave you. You you coming from New York, like, well, you've been, you been coming here the last, you know, few years. But before, when you were here in North Carolina, you would think, like, what what you would think about North Carolina? I always had family out here. Oh, okay, so you you from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, New York and Carolina have, like, a... You know, there's like a relationship. Oh, is it like there. that's where the the they go when they leave? Like yeah, from the south, they yeah, go to, exactly, to New York. Exactly, and and, vice and they feel versa, like North Carolina is the south. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and then a lot of people and leave New York. And we feel like that it's the north. I feel like it's a little bit yeah. more northern. North Carolina. Yeah, yeah we kind of put North Carolina. Atlanta. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I'm from Queens. It's definitely the south. Yeah, so yeah. like you feel like if you leave New York, that's south. 
past like DC. Or Jersey. Okay, okay, okay. DC. Past like DC is like the edge. Yeah, DMV. For us. Okay. Yeah. But now they be thinking Virginia country. Yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I don't think Virginia country. I think it's it's like northern country. Okay. Like yeah. it ain't southern country. You yeah, what I mean, I'm it, I think for us it's like any you know we're used to such a tempo up north and mm-hmm. a speed of like a city. So any uh, anything that don't match mm-hmm. that is just yeah. like, you know, we're somewhere else. Clearly, yeah. gosh. Who who else you been like listening to musically like that we probably wouldn't expect? Um, man, FKJ. I'm a big FKJ fan. Uh-huh. Uh, Jungle. They're a really really cool band. Um, my boy Gala Matias. I'm into a lot of genres. You know. Gotcha. I find I, say, I find um, more inspiration. Probably in other genres. My boy Blackie, straight from South Africa. Yeah, bring him in, y'all. He had to stay. Come Blackie, on in. What's up? Come on. Yeah, come say what's up, Hold man. How, how did this connection come about? Man, SA. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Spending some dog. time in South Africa. My boy, what's up? Now sit over there with the mic. Sit right here. Yeah, put him in the mic. Don't worry about it. With the mic. Over there, Blackie. Black. We got sit a right mic for you over there. Like it said, right in the middle. <laughs> he like, what's up? I'm sitting next yeah. to my boy. You know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what said, part I'm going to uh, sit by my dog. What part of South Africa are you from? Uh, I'm from Durban, but I stay in Johannesburg right now because that's where all the work is, but originally from Durban. Oh, okay. Yeah. How does it feel to be here in Dreamville? First time ever, you know, for like infinitely grateful for the opportunity that, you know, Baz is given. Me and the guys, me and Hoosh, me and Ruben, you know. Yeah, we've been touring team. together. He's on my tour, yeah. so. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. We're probably like 24, 25 shows in or something, so. Yeah. It's been a great run. But the, but the music, y'all did that before the tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. I got put on to him just being outside in South Africa, hearing his music ring off everywhere I went. I was like, I got to track bro down. So when he so. reached out, did you, did you think it was like on some spam type shit? Like, what's the your crazy like? thing is he didn't <laughs> even reach out. I just met him in the club, which is a, which is a oh, mad part. Damn. And, and shit. that's rare for somebody to tell you like in, in passing. And, like, and that bro, people like, yeah, bro, yeah, let's yeah, work shit. together. And then yeah, it really like, comes. And it happens. Yeah. It's the real occasion where like the conversations from the club actually get out of the club because most right. of the time you just be spewing whatever. Yeah, yeah, let's then, build. Let's build. And then like, hey, bro, we got to Work. No, we gotta yes. get one yeah, in. Yeah. We gonna link. We gonna link. Nah, Don't we even did. say it enough. <laughs> no, nah, we did. We did the work. We did the work for sure. Yeah. Bro's an incredible artist. We just yeah. cut a couple more records on this tour, oh, so you know, sure. so keep it pushing. Up. Yeah. What What city have y'all hit lately on a tour that was like, damn, like it was lit? Atlanta was a good time. Atlanta, oh, for sure. Oh, for when sure. did y'all hit Atlanta? We missed that. <laughs> hey, Black and Sugar hit hard. Like, yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Atlanta was yeah. on the fourth, right? What are we yeah, on the yeah, six that was now? Like two days ago, yeah. Oh, like that was years. my birthday. Yeah, the fourth. And I'm from Atlanta. Yeah, you ain't got no so baby on the way down there, do you, Blackie? You was shaking your head too hard. <laughs> nah, because I was, I was, I've been, I've been recording in Atlanta. Uh, I was recording. You doing more than recording? You too. <laughs> <heavy. laughs> love this city. I was there. I was there last year, and I was there for like three months just recording. So uh-huh. I built a sort of, you know, a little fan base out there, a little for network. Sure. So when we got back for the tour, it was just you know that much, that much better. You know. Uh-huh. So. Any any Atlanta artists that you want to work with? Uh, I saw Hancho today. He was he was fire. Okay. Um Who else is out there? Sub Baby. Always been a fan of him. Um, yeah. Then just like the you know the biggest, the Migos for sure. Yeah. Uh, Thugger once he gets out, free him. Yeah, free him. <laughs> yeah. Yep. A lot of people would would know like you got a cult fan base. Like like yeah. When they own you, like it's not getting them off you. Like you know what I'm saying. Once they listen to you, how does that feel though? Like. Whether, whether you know you could drop music and you, like, you please your, you know what I mean, uh, your fan base. Man, it's a blessing, especially yeah, for, for sure. you know, as long as we've been blessed to do it. You know, I signed to Dreamville in, in 2014, so uh-huh. to, you know, go out on tour and see that, you know, they're still showing up. They still know all the new music. You know, they're still they're still growing with us every day. Um, and asking, asking for new music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, we're just, we're, we're blessed to have that community. Like, you know, you see it here. I was saying, like, we travel all the time and see these fans in different cities, but this is kind of the weekend where everybody, you know, people coming Home from coming. all over the world. Every single state is represented. Um, you know, the whole community's here. Yeah, okay. One thing I've been, like, learning today about every artist is that, like, artists, we like to explore our, so our creativity in different ways, and it'd be, like, the most odd ways. Like, one dude play a whole bunch of instruments. The one dude, one girl, she like to paint and do anime. Like, what's something that you do in your free time that we wouldn't think that you would do? Both of y'all. 
Um, man, free time or you, a way that you express yourself. <laughs> you like free time? You what's that? <laughs> right. Free time is a is a nice concept. Uh, no, I'm 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 I'm, I'm uh, big into film. I love movies. You, you love? Know? Okay. You can see Watch yourself acting. Movies. Probably not, but I would write something. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. that's dope. I, I Favorite been, movie all time? Uh, Children of Men. Okay, I've never seen that. What about you, Black? Favorite movie? Or you yeah. mean like that? <laughs> oh, what you uh, like to do? The, what I like to do, I started off um, drawing, illustrating. I used to draw artists and get like... Damn, know, I never knew that. reception from them before. <laughs> you <learned something> new. <laughs> All these shit. He probably just made up some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't yeah. seen him. If you ain't seen him drawing 25 cities, yeah. nah, I mean, I mean, I, he I, probably I, be sneaking high in this shit when you go. <laughs> I let that go. I let that go and I started rapping okay. more. But yeah, that's what I used to do to get like a reaction from artists. Because I was rapping at the same time and I was like, yo, if I could just use this as a door, a doorway, uh -huh. but then it never worked out. Like they just like the art and then you gotta start like doing your own music. artwork for yeah. sure my, my oh, that'd be album hard covers and all yeah. that yeah that'd be next tough. one for sure yeah. look that at my dog executive producer mode look, <laughs> yeah. that's what i'm saying what what do you want to tap into next like where you see yourself or anything you feel like doing next like you said whether it's movies writing produce executive producing epn um i have a few ideas but i'm just so into the music right now and you know just time is just you know there's a lot of time constraints i still feel like i'm growing as an artist i'm learning a lot so i still really just want to focus on my artistry yeah putting out good music yeah consistently keep I like the main that. thing the main thing did, did you did you know uh might delete this later was was dropping yeah. You heard oh, you it. Know. You heard it before you it bitch, your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm on it. They better have told me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. But uh, yeah, nah, for sure. But I, I know, like, you knew it was gonna drop. But I ain't. Did you know when it was gonna drop? I had an idea. Okay. I don't think anyone really knew when until it. That's kind of how cold move. You yeah. Know? When it's like, time, it's, what's yeah, up? you're gonna get that text like it's coming at midnight. You're like, oh shit! All right, come on. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, nah, I, I love the project. How you feel about the not beef, but the beef in the industry right now? The like state of the seven yeah. bars. No comment. All right, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Home team, you know what it is with us. <laughs> right. I'm excited as a music fan. We're excited to see like the music that comes out of it. Yeah, I think, I think what people shit. forget is, like, it's, it's a war for attention more than it is a war with, you know, any Absolutely. certain person. I think it's, it's good for hip-hop when, you know, we can draw all this attention. We can become for sure. the, the just trending to, topics. Just to hear new music. Yeah, and it's good. It's good for the genre. It's good for the culture. It's, it's good for the business. Yeah, uh-huh. Definitely. Absolutely. What about you, like, as a African artist coming over, you know, doing a lot now collabing with hip hop like where do you see yourself going or what's some things that you really want to check off on your list in the industry um the thing i say the most is probably like the the culture here is like so rich compared to the hours back home it's still new you know cuz i do like hip hop and r&b so like the hip hop and r&b here is just such a cornerstone of everything else all the pop all the other things that like spawn out of the hip hop, but yeah. hip hop is like the main thing, you know what I mean? And it's so rich and so many people doing it, so many people have done it to the highest level that like, you know, it's only right to get, you know, my little my little thing on and see how much I can do, you know. So that's what I'm here for, to just do all the work and, and see how that goes. How they treat you back at home now, now that you on tour, you know what I mean? I haven't, I haven't been it's been a month and I'm I'm gonna go back home after the after the the New York show, so that probably be like they live. New York so. gonna be the one, huh? Oh yeah, I'll yeah, see. You I'll excited see about that? I'll see how it's they treat you, you know? Yeah. It's been a while. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nah, yeah, that's yeah. what's up. I know you excited to just because they gonna be like, oh shit, you been all the major <laughs> cities, like you been touring, you been yeah. with we'll some see. of the biggest. When, who, or what was that moment for you? Like, damn, I can't believe I'm really doing what I love to do. Bro, that time we went to the tour. The the Colin Drake one and we were backstage. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. said the what tour? We went uh, uh we went and linked up. We had an off day after our Houston show and uh -huh. then, and Colin Drake's tour was in New Orleans. Oh, with Colin Drake? Oh so yeah. We, you yeah. know, we popped out, went backstage, sure. you got to meet all the homies. Yeah. It's a good time. 
So it was like, how did that feel like you bringing someone into that world? Because like, I, I'm, granted, like you used to it and something like that, but to show somebody else like. And Look, I mean, you could I mean, do this too. Bro, hella cool. He's hella yeah. talented. Like I consider him a friend. Because I know you he... just not bringing everybody around it. So it's like. Nah, of course. But, you yeah. know, that's our whole community functions that way, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's only right. Like people brought me into it and gave me access and introduced me to a bunch of people that help further, you know, my career. So gotcha. it's, it's only right that you try to do the same for, you know, other people you see that promise in. Mm-hmm. That was your first time me? Either yeah, one of yeah. First time seeing anything of that stature. You know that Drake the show, tour, they got the, the fireworks. Yeah. The, <laughs> the production, the production was going crazy in there. Yeah. Hey, crazy. backstage, they got I different you, yeah, and I was shit. about to say, you not just there witnessing a the concert. You there, there. Yeah, like, I'm with backstage. Them. I'm meeting these people. I'm seeing everything that goes on behind it. Um, I watched that whole thing like twice. You know, we did, yeah. we did both days. Yeah, we did back to back. So yeah. I watched yeah. it. Both times, the whole thing through and through, just you know, super inspiring. First of all, but just definitely inspiration to be uh-huh. there. Yeah, definitely a moment that that I'm like, yo, this is I'm at the right place. You know, what's something that you feel like you've learned just from like maneuvering through the industry thus far, like and just being around your dog, like yeah. you know. Um, I think the main thing I had to learn is probably that like I'm not the the same artist that I am out in out in SA for now. I guess you know because. It's a different crowd. It's more to prove. You know what I mean. It's mm. more. It's more to do. You know. Keep so, you hungry. Yeah, I feel like at the. Yeah. I mean, bros got great humility about it. You know what I mean. I, I tell the crowd that every night. Like, like this nigga's the one back home. You know what I mean. Like, <laughs> yeah. you go in the club. You gonna hear shit ringing off. Hey, it might sound crazy, but it's kind of like coming to America. Like. Like he the man, what? No, no, he the, he the man, man, man where he at? Nah, they don't you. know. Nah, yeah. nah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. But it's like you know, I remember my earliest tours, you know, opening up for whatever Absol. Yeah. But you know, those Cole, who knew knew. Even you know, I we went out with Tory Lanes once, so it's like you're always there to win other people's fans over, right? Yeah. Um, you know, you gotta. When you go out there and you're not the headliner, you just gotta humble yourself and know I gotta put on such a show that they're gonna go and that make me. motherfuckers come start sitting that down and exactly. get that drink line. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You know, and he, he does that every night. Yeah. What's one of them songs like? If somebody knew one of the eighty five percent of us watching this and they knew and they never heard your music back home, like what's the one that they playing on repeat? Um, that we should go search and, and, and listen to. It's probably a song called Yeah. I was gonna say that, but I was yeah. gonna let you answer. <laughs> yeah. That's the yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's me. that's what put me on the bro. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I was in the club like, yep. One that's of it. the ones. Yeah. What about you? If somebody never heard of you and they this their first time watching, they be like, go check this out. Um, man, I'll probably tribe. Yeah, probably tribe. Mm, tribe. I think that does a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. I'm rapping on there. I'm singing on there. It's a good vibe. It's a happy song. For sure. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's what's up. Man, we appreciate y'all pushing up. Yeah. Talking, chatting with us, you know Thank what I mean? Sir. Appreciate we to, y'all. We ain't gonna hold y'all up, because I know... Yeah, I know you want to see Rema, too. I want to see Rema. Come on, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna see Rema. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for stopping through the trap. Let's meet you, too. My dog.